around 80. So I'm going to draw a box that's 80 by 103. I'm going to set the color to a different color because I'm not going to actually uh, burn that. And I forgot to click the arrow. So click the arrow, come back here. And we can see our pie burn 4.0 rock is a little big. So I'm going to just simply shrink the text a little bit. I'm going to grab everything. I'm going to align it. And there we go, we have it. So the next things I want to do is I want to make sure my uh, layers are set properly. So JDS tumblers, I do 300 millimeters per second, 20% uh, power, and I use 0.064 for line interval. I've just done that for the last couple of years and gotten perfect results. I know others do different, um, but for me, that, that works. So why, why fix it if it isn't broken? So the cut through here, the line is set to no output, which means it's not going to actually try to cut that out of the tumbler. So no output says don't turn the laser on for that. And it's all set and ready to go. I do air. Some people, again, this is some people don't like to use air on their tumblers. I do because it just I get the results that I want that way. So I'm going to go to laser. I'm going to make the job origin the center top. So I want uh, when I'm aligning the cup, I want it to be this design to be right in the center. And this, this represents the edge of the silver band on the tumbler. And again, some people use center, center. They go figure out what the center of the tumbler is. They do all that magic. For me, just drawing this box, putting this at the top, and you'll see this in a second when we go over to the laser. It's just super easy for me. I, I don't really have to think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to the laser. We're going to call it test two and click OK. And it's there. I'll see you at the laser. So ready to go. I'm going to press escape file to load the file. I'm going to press enter. And there's our Pyburn 4.0 rocks. You can see it's in the right orientation based on our cup. And I've already Press origin. I'm going to press again just to be sure. And let's do it. And there you go. Let's open the door and let's take a look. Perfect results. Just what you expect. So it's aligned perfectly. Uh, it came out perfectly. Everything's perfect. So for those of you who are worried and concerned about how difficult it is to set up your pie burn, I hope today we showed you just how simple it is. It is very, very simple. If you follow these few basic steps that we've gone over tonight, uh, you'll be up and running in a matter of minutes and you'll be getting perfect results. Our next video is going to focus on how do we do things like water bottles or things that are odd shapes. How do we handle those with pie burn and uh, in light burn? So I'll show you how. It's just as easy as this. We'll see you next time. Peace.